What is up, you guys? My name is Josh, and my wife Haley and I have a full-time reselling and YouTube business. This means we film ourselves going to places like thrift stores, flea markets, garage sales, estate sales, trying to buy things super cheap that we can then flip online for a profit. In today's video, we are gonna head to an estate sale, but first, I wanted to tell you guys a pretty exciting announcement. Haley and I, along with our friend Caleb, known as Phoenix Resale, you guys probably know him from Instagram or YouTube, are hosting the first annual, first ever, FlipCon 20. 22. This is an in-person reseller meetup. It's going to be held in Charlotte, North Carolina, August 24th through August 25th. It's going to be about five hours total of different reseller panels. We have different resellers from different areas of reselling coming in to speak on certain panels. Here is a quick list of those that have uh, RSVP to come so far. You can see we've kind of covered all of our bases here. Uh, we have a couple people that are coming that are not on the website yet. We have Kevin, Commonwealth Picker. We have Blake Knobloch, and we have Not Your Dad CPA, Mark Two. So it's gonna be an exhaustive event. Your ticket does include all your meals, all your drinks. Uh, you just have to get your, your travel there, uh, and then your hotel room on top of that. Uh, we're super excited. I don't know how it's gonna go. I think we have 350 tickets available. Uh, and we've sold a good amount so far without even announcing it on YouTube, just on Instagram. Uh, so if you guys are interested in that, definitely head over to the website. It's www.flipcon.net. You can get tickets. There's an FAQ section. You can see uh, pretty much pretty much everything. If you guys have any questions, definitely drop a comment on this video. Uh, and if I see any questions about the, the event, I'll, I'll try to answer them in the comments down below. Uh, but with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Back to the video. What is going on, you guys? Today, we are actually walking up this street to the middle of the road, heading to an estate sale it starts at what like one yeah one? it starts in 30 minutes starts in 30 minutes here, it looks like and it's a friday in the middle of the day so honestly yeah. we didn't think it would be this crowded because we thought people had jobs <laughs> and stuff but apparently not we had to park what like 300 feet away or... probably saying the same thing about us probably yeah, well, you have jobs. they're so young why, why aren't they working <laughs> <laughs> this estate sale is going to be hosted by blue moon the same company that hosted the last one we went to and the pictures didn't look great but honestly the pictures at the last one didn't look great either so we've learned that you can't really judge an entire estate sale just by the online pictures hopefully what's up man you didn't tell me to get here this early 35. oh hey how are you how's it going Anybody want to sell me their ticket? No? I'll give you 35. You be 35. I'll be 36. I'm 35. 36. At least it's not crowded. I don't know where the best place is. I don't need a new book. Plant nanny. Yeah. Handy cam. Oh, 75 bucks. Ugh. Carlo cameras. $150. Hmm. It's pretty camera, brand new. Sixteen dollars for all five of them. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. They don't have the boxes oh, though. I don't know if they'd be worth it without the boxes. She had quite a lot of collections. Yeah. We knew over the years we got more and more and more and more stuff. Three bucks. Oh, I'm sure. Nashville, North Carolina. Three bucks. <laughs> There's an electric one somewhere inside. Now that one's 15, but it's a Boss Stitch electric one. Yeah. Okay. Windows. What brand on that one? Yeah, it's an idea. So put all the great to see now. Those are about $10.99 at this store. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing out here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So 
Got me five bucks. Hmm. Five bucks. Twenty megapixels. Yeah. I need some TJ Maxx stuff in here. Eight bucks. That's kind of cool. This room, like I love, I would definitely do my floors with the basket week. Isn't that pretty? Uh huh. Yeah. Let's get this. We'll find some switches on them out. Let the spirit lead us, Randy. Oh my gosh. I found it yet. Mmm. Got some stains, but. Would that be worth it? Got some art in here. Eighty bucks. It's hand painted, signed. And this is smaller one. Forty dollars hand painted. Audrey Sweeney. I just don't know anything about art. Well, what'd you find? Pretty dirty cardboard. Oh, oh yeah. That's cool. Sewing room. I'm overwhelmed. Well, she said the house is full. She wasn't on. Yeah, this, this lady had a ton of stuff. A brand new artist set. A lot of this stuff is brand new. Yeah. yeah. Dyson V6 animal. Oh, 25 bucks? I don't see any attachments to that. Oh, yeah. Huh. Let's see if it works. It doesn't have the charger or anything, but it's blinking. Her charger, do you think our charger will work for it? Um, it looks like the same. Maybe the same. Ours is the V8, so pretty close to it. I'm just curious to see if it could work, like yeah. with our charger. 25 bucks. That's a gamble. And That's a good gamble. It, I don't know. If for some reason, we didn't want to sell it. We'd have two backups. We could use our attachments. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Uh, we are free under Josh. Josh. Yep. Do you have any wrapped up for a shoot? Nope. No. 77.76. Alright. Thank you very much. And you're good, it'll get on your email. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thank Appreciate you it. Very much. Enjoy. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great day. You, you too. Thank you, you for wanna... your patience. Absolutely. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. I felt bad about the Sony remote. I saw you didn't make any money on it. So oh, that's my fault for not I'm looking it up. <laughs> okay. It's all, it's all Ralph Lauren. Awesome. awesome. Cool. Thank you Thanks, so much. man. I appreciate that. I'll see you. Don't go to the one over in uh, nope. Fort Sager. Just this one. I'm going to go to that one. They yep. close it. Okay. Good luck. If you guys don't know, that was the guy that sold us um, the, all the stuff in the last flea market video at the very yeah. end, like the ghost blow molds and those two really cool hats and stuff. He said he felt bad that that um, PlayStation 2 remote wasn't worth anything. He gave us a whole bag of Ralph Lauren Which stuff. Really cool. We Super also met nice. him at the other estate sale that we were Yeah, he's an estate sale fiend. So other than having to wait in line like 45 minutes to check out, like that was that was pretty good. Pretty that, good. That Burberry he, jacket, like I don't honestly know how much it was. There was no tag and it was $77 it was for code. everything. So codes are $10. $10. Yes. Okay. It's got some stains. I think we're going to take it to a dry cleaner and get them like professionally clean it uh, and then sell it. Yeah. <laughs> it should sell pretty well. Burberry black trench coat with that classic Burberry like lining. Yeah. Should do really well. Haley, I just noticed this Carhartt vest is made in USA. Is it really? Yeah. Made in USA. Cool. It's got some like dust or something on it. Might drop this off at the dry cleaners as well. So it's been a couple days since we left the estate sale and I apologize for the bad lighting in the garage. I was going to open the garage door so it'd have a little bit better lighting on my face, but it is super cold today. We had like this weird like winter front come through the Southeast. So they even had like snow in parts of like Alabama and, and Georgia, I believe. We didn't get any snow here, fortunately or <laughs> unfortunately, I don't know. But uh, regardless, it is super cold out today. So you just have to bear with me. But I want to show you guys some of these smaller things we got at the estate sale. Again, we spent, I think it was like 70, $72, $73, something like that. It was $67 plus tax. Uh, and these are a couple of the smaller things. We got this really cool uh, bath hand mirror. Hey, look, there's us. There, me, and there's you guys. Uh, the back of it's really cool. It's like uh, I don't know if it's hand painted or what. It was sixteen dollars. I do not know anything about vintage hand mirrors, but this just looked pretty cool. Uh, and I imagined if we picked it up in this video, there'd be somebody in the comments that could tell me a little bit more about it. Maybe the age or 
Uh, maybe the value hopefully is worth at least 16 bucks. I figured we'd get this uh, posted in our eBay store pretty soon to see uh, if any of you guys were interested. It does look to have a little scratch on it right there. Um, but other than that, I mean, and some signs of aging, uh, I think it's I think it's pretty cool. I got this handmade jar thing with a little leaf on it, and it was only three dollars. And I just thought it was super cool. That lady at the, this owned the house, the estate sale, had a lot of this like cool hand thrown uh, pottery that I thought was really cool. But this was just the only piece we got. It's only three bucks. Got a little leaf on there. It says uh, Asheville, North Carolina. Maybe some initials or something down at the bottom. So it looks handmade, and I figured it's worth at least three bucks. This is something that I don't really know the value of, but we'll probably throw it up on eBay for maybe maybe start an auction, maybe like a one dollar auction, just to see what it goes for. I think uh, it might take a little bit to find the right person for it, but I'm sure there's somebody out there willing to pay more than three dollars for this. Then we got this brass duck for three dollars. I'm like, what? This, I mean, this thing's pretty heavy. Like, I wish I had my scale out here. Like, this is pretty hefty. It might be worth just this weight in brass, but $3 for this. Again, I don't know the exact value. We'll just throw it up on eBay for maybe 15 or 20 bucks. It's like a, a paperweight. I don't know. Maybe it's just like a decorative piece, but it's heavy enough to be a paperweight. Again, hopefully we can get more than $3 for that. The last little thing we picked up at the estate sale is this pair of cat uh, coat hooks. You see, uh, screw them into the wall. These look pretty modern, but we figured we'd throw them up the pair of them on eBay and maybe list them for, I don't know, 12, 10 or 12 bucks plus shipping and see if there's a cat fan out there that would like to hang these on their wall. So now we can get into the heavy hitter right here. This is a little Sony camera. You can see we paid $5 for it. It was marked at $5 because it doesn't currently turn on. There's no charger or anything like that with it, which is again, probably why it was priced so low. But this is the Sony DSC hyphen W83. Zero and uh, anytime I find a little camera like this, I always look at the megapixels. It's usually written on the front. 20.1 megapixels is pretty good. That's like on par with most smartphones nowadays. Uh, generally, if it's anything like five megapixels or maybe anything under 10, I probably wouldn't waste my time with it because that's so low resolution compared to our cell phones. Uh, but this is this is a pretty good camera. You could take eBay photos with this. I mean, you could do do a lot with this. So I took a chance on it for five bucks and turns out it is worth a lot of money. So when I search it on eBay, Sony DSC W830, there are 46 currently listed. And then when we go to sold items, scroll down until you see sold. And there are 123 sold in the last 90 days. So that's like, what, like a 200% sell through rate. It's pretty crazy. There is apparently a silver one. We have the black one. Uh, and sold comps are kind of all over the place. I mean, there's a new, brand new one that sold for 168 plus shipping, pre-owned 55, 57, 281 brand new. Uh, I think it depends on what all comes with it as well. Right now we only have the camera. Now there's one that sold for 40 bucks, uh, but I think it's gonna be worth us getting a charger for it so we can get it fully tested. Because if we can order the charger, show that it's fully functional and sell it with the one battery and the charger and the case, I think we could probably get about $70 for it. There's one uh, exactly like that without the charger, just the battery for $70 free shipping. Another one for $60 plus shipping, just the camera with the cord there, 70 bucks. So to turn a $5 gamble into hopefully like 60 to $70 on eBay, that is an awesome flip, especially considering we were at an estate sale where honestly, I don't really expect to find deals this good. Then we have this vintage Carhartt vest. Again, it does say made in USA right there. It's a size, uh, I don't know what size it is. Oh, it says medium, medium regular right there. Uh, it's kind of hard to find an exact sold comp. And if you search vintage Carhartt vests, there's a lot of listings and solds for Sherpa lined, but I don't think this material would qualify as Sherpa. Sherpa is like a little bit more fluffier than this. It's this more like a, I, I don't know, not Sherpa though, but there is a couple similar sold comps. There's one right there that sold for $45 plus shipping, best offer. Um, the Sherpa ones do a little bit better, like 65, 65. There's one, Canvas, uh, that's Sherpa, $80 free shipping. Uh, so I think given the current condition, we're gonna get it, have to get it washed up a little bit. It's got these little spots on it here and there. Um, but I think we have to get it washed up. As long as it cleans up, we should be able to get at least $35 to $40 plus shipping on this. This is a pretty solid find by Haley. The second to last thing we found is this Burberry's trench coat. It says NFR on it, but I don't know if that's like initials or if that's like the the model of the jacket or something i found this one tag in here that just says like what it's made of and it looks to be in okay condition it's got a couple of these little like stains on the bottom i think it's just stuff from sitting in the closet for so long 
to be honest. But I think it'll be worth taking it to get uh, get it dry cleaned so we can get it like looking really nice to get listed on eBay. I don't see any any holes, just like a couple of these little stains here and there. And hopefully those will come out with the dry cleaning. I know absolutely nothing about <laughs> Burberry stuff. Uh, so I'll just show you guys like a close up of the tag, close up of the the buttons and and all this stuff. And maybe there's a Burberry expert watching this video right now that can drop a comment down below uh, and tell me kind of what we got here. We only paid $10 for this jacket. I'm pretty sure it's authentic based on the quality of the other items this lady had in her house. She had like Waterford crystal and and all those like handmade pottery and and you know all that all that stuff. Generally, people that have nice stuff at one part in their one part of their house are going to have nice stuff at the other part of their house as well. So definitely let me know uh, what you think we can get for this jacket. Soul comps are kind of all over the place, um, and again, I don't really know exactly which jacket we have. It's very long, so I'm thinking we could probably get at least a couple hundred bucks for it, but I could be wrong. Like I said, definitely drop a comment and let us know. Was this a good pickup for ten? And then the last find of the estate sale is this Dyson uh, V, I got it on the charger here, V, V6, is this the V, Dyson, I think it was on the tube, Dyson V6 Animal, V6 Animal, I think that's what it is. We currently have the V8 Animal, it's inside, but luckily this charges with the V6 Animal charger. Uh, I've only had it charging for a few minutes, but it does turn on for a moment and suck. So I can tell that we that it does work. Uh, and it's just not working for very long because that's <laughs> that's the, all the battery it takes. But uh, I think we can get this cleaned up. We should be able to sell maybe this part by itself and maybe the other tube separately. I don't know. But uh, let's look up comps for just the, you know, this portion of the Dyson Animal V6. So I'm trying to find something here. There's this one, I think the Animal V6 for 49 plus shipping, best offer, but there's parts only listings for, for cheaper than that. The head alone was $59.99. Unfortunately, we don't have the head. We just have the, the sucky upper part. There's another one, parts only $31, and ours does work, so we can sell it in pre-owned condition. So I'm not seeing a ton of sold comps for just the, you know, just the sucky part. There's one, Dyson V6, 50, yeah, $50 plus shipping. There's another one for $139. <laughs> so it would really be nice if we had more accessories with it, but just having the head and the tube, I'm thinking we could probably get maybe 60 to 70 bucks plus shipping uh, on that little setup. We paid $25 for that. That was the most expensive thing that we got. And we took a chance on it because they didn't have the charging cord or anything like that. Uh, but 25 bucks well spent. I wanted to show you guys our guest bedroom in today's video. So if you have watched the channel at all, you know that we have the little shoe wall over here against against the wall and we have this area over here that we use to take pictures but usually there's a big guest bed over here with a bunch of junk on it and today we finally got it out of here this the guest bed in this room has been unused uh for probably over a year and it's just been taking up a lot of space in here uh, and i've just been putting it off like having to take it to the dump because i don't have my truck anymore we just have the forerunner uh, but today we bit the bullet strapped it to the top of the forerunner that and the box ring took it to the dump and it's it's so nice like it's such a good feeling getting this out of here it's still very messy in here don't get, don't get me wrong we had to move the stuff over here to get the bed out but just having this extra space now we can go through our shoe wall and like look for for what we need it's uh it's just a great a great feeling i'm telling you what but thank you guys so much for watching today's video definitely drop a comment and let us know if we did well at this estate sale i personally feel like we did pretty well much much better than we did at the last one this one we did have to wait a little bit in line to check out they only had one register but other than that it was a fantastic experience so shout out again to blue moon estate sales and christine i think she's the owner of this franchise you guys do a really good job with your estate sales and we will definitely keep going to them in the future. But again, drop a comment. And let us know if you thought this was a good estate sale haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, definitely hit the like button for us down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below as well. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best and we'll catch you on the next one.